Hello everyone, thank you for joining again. My name is Taylor and today I'm going to show you how to use threads in Python. Threads allows us to run functions simultaneously. So let's go ahead and create a file. I'm going to be using Kate as our text editor today. So click on save here and then let's type thread.py. Now that we have our Python file, let's go ahead and import the threading module. So I will say from threading import capital T thread. So what this is saying is from the threading module import the class thread. Now let's create our own threads for our class. So we'll say class and then we'll give this a variable name thread test open and close parentheses and in those parentheses let's go ahead and send in thread. Now add a colon at the end and now let's instantiate our init function or our initialize function for this class. We'll say def space underscore underscore init underscore underscore open parentheses self and then add a colon at the end. Hit enter and now let's call our thread initialization. We can say thread dot underscore underscore init underscore underscore send in self as well. Now we can create our run function. This run function will be called anytime we call our thread test class. So let's go ahead and say def run send in self add a colon at the end and now we can call any functions that we create within this class. Let's go ahead and create one function. We'll call it looping. DEF looping. Send in self. Add a colon at the end. Now let's go ahead and do some computations. Let's just say for i in range of 1000. Add a colon at the end. And then let's say print i plus 1. Now let's go ahead and call this looping function by going into our run function and type self.looping. We have to say self because we are still within the class. So now that we have this, let's go ahead and create our main function. Go outside of our class and say if underscore underscore name underscore underscore double equals open and close quotations underscore underscore main underscore underscore add a colon at the end let's give a variable name for this class we'll call it test is equal to thread test open and close parentheses now we can call the start function from thread so we'll say test dot start open and close parentheses where this start function is coming from is whenever we called this thread. So this thread contains start. Now we just need one more thing which is our join. The join combines all of our processes in our functions together so that way they run simultaneously. So we just call test dot join open and close parentheses. Now let's save this and let's run this program by typing python space and then our file name. As you can see the program ran and we didn't have to call our run function because we started the thread here and then we joined the threads here and this join allows us to call multiple functions simultaneously in the run function here. This is just the beginning of parallel programming and this will enable you to optimize your code and run functions much quicker. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time.